Okay, so we're going to capture some of our conversations so far. We had blank number lines and we took the top one and we're labeling it for our problem, which is gallons of gas. And we made our bottom number line percents. And in this problem, we end up with 150% because we're comparing two things. One, the car originally is at 100%. And then we found the truck is 50% more. So it's going to be 150% of what the car has. We just simply spaced out our number line and labeled it. If this is 0, 50, 100, then this space difference was equaling 150. And then we match up above to our blank number line for gallons. This is zero, just like this is 0%. This is 50% of the car's tank. And the car's maximum is, is 12 gallons. And then we found that the truck is 50% more than that. So it's going to be over here at 150. And then we just did some thinking about this. And I see a response in here saying that the truck holds 18 gallons. How do we know that? We used our, our information about percents to compare the gallons. If this is 12, then this was six. And so this space is six, six, six. So that would mean six, 12, 18. I'm going to head back over to show the screen with our worksheet on it. So there's five more problems like this, and I'm going to let you guys go into breakout rooms to work on them. The next is about a movie theater. So the upper number line is going to be labeled with popcorn cups. And you're going to want to break up your number line going from zero to 120% and then make the number line above it match. Read through this work here and label it. And then you're going to go into this document and put your answers so that I can see what you were able to do. With that, I'm going to um, start creating breakout rooms. <laughs>